Hello, hello, buongiorno a tutti. A good customer friend of mine, Ricardo Pes, you might um, know his name already because he's always sometimes uh, coming in here into the channel. He's uh, here from Italy and then when he, before he's going to record something in uh, in London. Hold on, I have to turn off the ringtone. This is disturbing and we want to hear it everything precisely. So sometimes he wants to have his last final check just to have the maximum of his instrument just before recording. And so he comes by quite uh, frequently but year, months and years go by. So let's say once a year. Mm. Uh, and I appreciate it because he really takes it serious and when there is something he just calls me and uh, This is probably the first step you have to get into it the, the better your instrument is the more you have to have a Relation to your violin maker because without him you are in big mess now a few days ago last week I think it was Ricardo called me up maestro maestro Problema! Domani, tomorrow, I have a recording and something is buzzing. So, it seems like something is not glued. So I said, Ricardo, stay cool, we will manage this. Um, I cannot immediately run to you with the jar in your hand, but stay cool. We go and this is not now the cello from Ricardo, this is from a, a customer from uh, Austria and it's still here because I didn't go up to Austria to deliver it back. Anyhow, so I told him to go like this around the edge. You don't have to smash now the instrument. And this is just a cello in order to show you, but it could also be a violin, a viola, double bass, whatever. Okay? Now, at a certain point he told me that within the C there was something strange. I said, stay cool, go on the back side. Do the same thing and there was nothing so then we went back to the top right and he could see that I said okay now Ricardo go to the light and double check if it is well glued now the better your instrument is the more likely it's going to open up frequently and this edge is meant from the method of construction and the concept of the instrument that it is going to open up frequently and we hope it is going to up very often. Only low-grade instruments and instrument makers take Gorilla Glue and stuff like this Maybe even a super glue or white glue, the, the, the bomb uh, white glue which it will never open up and is even uh, resistant against water. But is this the worst you can do to your instrument? Because wood is moving and you won't keep it blocked how you would love to. It's always moving and here the grain is like this and here like that. So it's shrinking sideways so it will always open up. Okay and we're glad that it's opening up because otherwise it would crack and old instruments are cracked. So if it's glued too well with a too strong glue then the instrument is going to crack. Therefore Better. It's not glued so tight and it's from time to time something here, something there, something here and something there is opening up. Now, of course you have to go to the next violin maker. But since I told already in the glue video that it is reversible, there is already the quantity of glue there, but there's probably not enough humidity. So. <coughs> What can you do at home if you are in the situation like Ricardo last week that he has the next day a recording I just said stay close put your instrument on your bed okay now this here is not the bed but we're here in the workshop okay so put it on your bed where it could remain for the rest 12 hours 5 hours something like this minimum 4 5 hours Check where it is, take a small jar or water boiler with some water in, 
put it on the fire and get it boiling, okay? Now, you don't have... No, you drink coffee and tea, right? Come on, it's impossible you don't have that. Once this is boiling, if you don't have a brush, now I take the ugliest brush I can find here, let's say something like this, but even from the kitchen, the one which you use for putting on your cookies uh, the egg or on, 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 on a cake or something, or you don't even have this, okay, so then I have another idea. Maybe you have a, a toothpick, a toothpick, a toothpick would be very great, okay? You take a toothpick, now you have have. Now let's say this is your toothpick, okay? So then, this is certainly yours is smaller, but to, in order to show you what you can do, you put the instrument on your side, you look exactly where it is, okay? And then you go with the toothpick or with the brush or whatever you have into the boiling water and then you just put a little bit of drops of water in that area, okay? Then you can push a little bit and you will see that the water goes inside. And once you have that all, you're at a good point, you're at a good point, but you cannot now leave it like this and it's no hurry that you now have to rush to, to, to put immediately a clamp or something. So, because then the glue meanwhile is a little bit soaking. So then I told to, to Ricardo, maybe you have a clamp or something. And he said, yes, I have one. Very good, me too, I have one. This is now a, a, a lousy clamp from a supermarket, but something like this could go here, like, right? But now already, by just by looking this antique cello of my customers, and my customer is watching here, oh my God. So what can you do? You just take your belt. You have a belt at home. Come on, come on. Important that you don't lose your trousers, okay? So you take your belt and you put your belt on the on one side of the cello or the violin and on the other side just in that area where it is. Now I took the most difficult spot possible and then you take your clamp exactly now I put it in the area where it was from from uh, Ricardo and then you put it and that's it just a little bit you can see that it is very loose and that's it okay since you are now your, your instrument your violin your cello your double bass is lying on the bed very comfortable you just leave it like this and believe me or not, within, I would say, the next day, or within five hours, you can take it off, okay? And you can check, and you can listen, and it's all fine. Okay, now this is something which you can do if you're on a road trip, if you are one day before your concert, if you're in big problems, okay, it will solve the problem at least for the next day for the recording without that it, you have to be uh, afraid that it's going to open up, okay, because this uh, uh, hot glue animal glue is reversible and because of the humidity it was loosening up went a little bit more and is sticking again to each other it's very important that the water is slightly warm from the time you take it from the boiling water to the instrument its temperature is going down extremely quick and next day it is done still this is just a quick solution and you have to search it and it will within <coughs> let's say probably two or three months depending a little bit more on the climate than on other things you're living in if humidity is going away in this uh, moment in uh, of the life of the instrument or the season is changing or something or you're just uh, into a, a uh, air-conditioned uh, hotel room or a concert hall <coughs> 
then this is uh, great, but you have then to search for the next violin maker and tell him it was opening up. He should redouble check. He's loosening it again, put some fresh glue inside. No need to put a lot inside and that's it. And one thing is for sure, understand that very soon, later, sooner or later, something else was going to open up and we're happy that it's going to open up because this is avoiding major damage to your instrument. If you want to know more further details and you want to go more into specific on gluing, on bridge cutting, uh, every week we make, every month we make one video about the setup, every month we make one video about uh, varnishing and antiquing an instrument and you want to get all the measurements and you want to have more contact with me and to get immediately quick response from me, sign up on my Patreon channel and otherwise stay tuned and interactive with me. Pushing the like button is the most important and subscribing you get a big hug from me, okay? Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye and tell your friends. Ciao, ciao, ciao!